Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private serpentarium tonight with one of my oldie but goodies. This is Mr. J Spider here and he decided to take pity on me because I'm super wiped out from the gym and I have so much work to do. It's fun work though. So tonight what we're going to be doing is we're going to be separating out the second instar spiderlings that belong to, I believe her name is Mystique. Yes, Mystique, the beautiful female Dolicothele diamantinensis that belongs to Roberta Merritt. If you recall earlier, you might have seen the breeding video, which was the pairing with Mystique and the male diamantinensis nightcrawler. And so they had a really beautiful breeding and then it was just, totally crazy. It seemed like just a couple of weeks later she dropped a sack and um, seeing that this species is pretty gentle and docile I decided to let mom incubate the egg sack which she did. So now I have the wild scenario of babies in with mom which is always fun. Oh look there's somebody right on top. I have no idea how many are in here, so I'm going to have to actually pull this web apart fiber by fiber and just hunt out these little buggers. Um, I went and got some new little deli containers. These are the little um, 0.25 ounce um, containers and lids, and I use a large hypodermic needle to poke holes from the inside out so there aren't any sharp pieces on the inside of the enclosure and then I have my trusty vermiculite and so um, Jay Spider is preparing those little mini enclosures while I um, am going to dig out babies. So let's just get started. Alrighty. Chasing the baby out of the web. There we go. There's one. Can you see down in here? Or, okay. So the unfortunate part is that yes, I am absolutely destroying her web. Obviously she can rebuild it, but it's not the friendliest thing to do. So all of you geniuses out there who go, don't take the babies away from the mother, you're cruel. This is one unfortunate thing about if I don't take the babies away from the mother, is that then I have to go and ransack her house to collect all of her children because ultimately she will eat them for breakfast, you know, if I just leave them in here forever. Yeah. Yeah. Now, anyone who has ever asked about why I pull the egg sack or you just don't know, I'm not faulting you for that. But you people with your opinions about what a waste of life I am because I do this, you just don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Don't make me sick Jay Spider on you. And by the way, I miss you, Hank. Come back. Wow. I just exposed a little group. I'm kind of pointing blind, but in that area. So that's cool, because, I mean, I'd only seen like two or three at a time, so. This is exciting, and they already look like they have some bluish hue. So that's very exciting. All right, come on, kiddos. 
Um, oh, the other thing is, I get regular criticism for these horrible cheap paint brushes that I use because they're just so harsh and they're not soft. First of all, they're economical and there's nothing wrong with that. Also, I say a soft bristle paintbrush because it's softer than using my fingernails or tweezers or forceps, but I actually need a stiff bristle brush in order to do this properly. For those of you who um, are constantly attempting to inform me that this is not soft, it's just perfect actually. So there's one in here that looks like it just molted. So I'm gonna be super duper careful with that one. And it was, it's not this one. It still looks kind of translucent. You do have to be careful that you don't crush these little containers. Um, oh, also thanks for helping because it's way faster when you have someone prepping containers for you while you pull babies. If you're trying to do both, my goodness, it takes forever. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Also, big shout out to Roberta Merritt for sending me this pair because um, she's just really awesome. Yeah, there's one in there. I'm just so honored that she thought of me as a breeder to um, participate in this project with her. And she even went so far as to say that I was the person that got her into teas and encouraged her when she was kind of like borderline on the fence, like maybe I should try tarantulas, maybe I shouldn't. And so that's pretty amazing wanted to give a little shout out to Andrew from the channel DEA Exotics. He's been a long time supporter. He's a breeder and collector that I've been watching for some time. He does lives every weekend and he's very faithful to that which I have a ton of respect for because, I mean, gosh, that takes a lot of energy. He has a really nice family and um, just really super duper lovely people. So he, um, yeah, just really nice people. I enjoy them a lot. Also wanted to say hello to Earl Jones and Ren. We're getting ready to go up to their neck of the woods in Texas again this weekend, which I'm very excited about. Always have fun when we go up to Lone Star Reptiles. He's hatching out some incredible animals. So if you haven't been watching him and you care about ball pythons at all, definitely go check out the channel Lone Star Reptiles.
with that one that looks like it didn't make it through that molt that might be okay, but I, it's probably not. That's 30. And then a couple more might, you know, turn up. So 30-ish. That's really pretty good numbers for such a tiny little species. Most of them look very fit and strong and healthy. Mom. You can see mom still has some good weight on her. And so she's not going to be happy that I wrecked her home. But she's going to get fed and watered. And um, I don't think she'll be too upset. Mommy tarantulas don't don't live with their offspring in the wild and don't care for them long term so they usually don't seem too stressed out by this process so Bobby the owner of the two adults was generous enough that she offered me half the yield from the egg sac and so that's really exciting because now I have you know some of my own this was a species that I hadn't kept in a little while so I'm very excited and congratulations to Bobby and her lovely husband. They actually drove, they were in the area once and they asked if we could meet. And so we ended up meeting up with them and they were super duper nice. And we hung out and had lunch and just talked about animals and stuff. So it was wonderful meeting them. And now what a wonderful experience. We're like grandparents together. So what do you think about this J spider? I think it's pretty cool. In a way, it's neat to see how a small spider can produce 30 or so babies. Um, and you get into the larger species and how that number can double, triple, quadruple yeah. into the high hundreds. Or so it's just neat to see the thousand process. Over a thousand in some species. Yeah, some species. Which is not common, so don't be afraid. But um, yeah, so really incredible. And like you said, these babies are pretty big because some of the spiderlings that we've handled in the past were... I mean, Microscopic. Yeah, you could barely even see what they were. And these are, they're kind of like, it's kind of like the difference between hatching out corn snakes and retics. Like when you get a big, nice, fat, strong sling, that's a good thing. Anyway, um, so that was separating Dolicothele diamantinensis slings with Jay Spider. Uh, much thanks to Bobby Merritt and her family. And this was awesome. I hope you guys liked it. Leave your questions in the comment feed below. And I'll see you soon.